I had good intentions of making a video of us putting this track back on, but it was just me and Mike, and it was a real, real pain. It was just an aggravation. Of course, they'd got some rain up here, and that skid, that skid steer was right in that little slop hole right there. And we finally realized that, hey, we, we couldn't get it high enough there, so we took the skidder and got behind it, and we pushed it up into here. And this wasn't that bad before we started. Of course, I, I went ahead and sorted logs. They actually came after a load of logs while we were here of our oak and pallet material. And... I went ahead and put what walnut we had in the road down there, get everything cleaned up and ready for tomorrow. But yeah, it was just with just me and Mike, it was it was just a real pain. I mean it was a, we had a big pry bar. Uh, we had the south as ground is we had trouble getting the skid steer elevated to get the, the one side off the ground over here. And but once we uh once we took the tension, loosened up the grease there and took the took the tension off the uh, spring there. It wasn't terrible, but the hardest part was we got everything lined up. This back idler back here, the roller, it was just not wanting to line up. And we just, we fought that and fought that for an hour before we finally got it to go back on there. Once we got it to go back on there, it wasn't a big deal. We just set it back on the ground. We wheeled her right over here and uh, pumped her up full of grease and got the, got the tension back to it. So we're in good shape now ready to go again definitely definitely when this skid steer comes off this job it's getting a bath it is it is getting a good good power washing because this is this is just filthy a mess so yeah no video yesterday no video today today was actually a pretty busy day we got a late start up here because the first thing this morning i went and helped dad cut some logs and we planned on doing that yesterday, but the place we've been logging out there, he's been logging. Uh, they're kind of against working on Sundays, and we know this because we worked several Sundays out there on that place. And I met up with Dad yesterday morning. He said we better not, and, which I had to pick up my new saw today. I've got it over here on the back of the truck, a new 661 right there. And I'll put this over here in this box before the day's over. That's just where I set it, but it'll go in this box i've got another 661 in there but really i hadn't even planned on bringing that i'd planned on leaving it home because i've i've got no intentions of using it right now really i don't even want the muddy chain anywhere around it because i don't want to get it dirty but yeah so new saw not that that's a big deal because we buy so many of them but and like it might be a might be a few weeks might be a month before i use it i always like having Always like having a good saw around. Never know when you're going to need it. Of course, those two saws there beside it are, they're not terribly old. And there's a fairly new one in that box there I've been using just for the 661s. I took a couple of the 880s off here and just, uh, I've only got two 880s left on the truck. Uh, one of them, we keep a long bar on a 36 inch bar. And I keep it in this box here. So, new saw today. Picked up some more supplies. Of course, ordered some stuff for the truck. Uh, you'll see a video of me and Brandon putting that stuff on here probably towards the end of the week because we're thinking we can get this wrapped up in another, another two days. We'll be done and out of here. It's, uh, it's coming to a close. But Like I said, short video today. Unfortunately, no, no frustration. I'm sure y'all would have got a good laugh out of me and Mike putting this on there, but I would have never got it done by myself. There's there's no way I could have. I couldn't have got it done without Mike today, without him being here. So it was a real bear cat. I uh, and me and Brandon had talked last night about putting it on and kind of going through the steps the last time it came off. But, you know, in our minds, we was like, oh, that won't be too bad. And even I was thinking, oh, that'll be, a, you know, 30, 45 minutes. We'll have that thing back on there and be up and running. It wasn't easier said than done, of course when you're fighting the mud that that makes things always a little harder when you got to deal with all that stuff so we'll be done and out of here got a bent fork these forks are about shot anyway uh, both of them are bending now they've once they get bent once you know they they kind of it's almost like they lose their spring and temper so plate's still good but i need to get a new set of forks to put on here and just junk these out which that's that's not such a big deal i've as far as i'm concerned i've i've got 
I've got my monies out of those forks for sure. But like I said, hopefully Wednesday will be our last day here. We'll be done, gone, out of here. Uh, where we're going after this, I think the skid steer is going to Willard, Missouri. Then I think this skidder here is going to uh, Higginsville, Missouri after this. So always somewhere to go, always somewhere to be. Uh, bought some pretty good trees there Saturday night down in uh, Sparta, Missouri. Some real good walnut. Plenty to do, plenty to do. Guys, thanks a lot. I'm just rambling on now. It's getting late in the day. Mike, he's watching sunsets over there on the Kansas side of the river. But tomorrow we'll work on filling that pile of oak back up and finish the rest of the walnut up, hopefully, and kind of get to winding things down. Guys, thanks a lot. We'll see you tomorrow.